Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This Sunday is National Banana Bread Day, and who didn't like banana bread growing up? I know I loved it. And here to, sh to share a delicious banana bread recipe straight out of her cookbook, Cooking with Kelly, that's with two Ks, is Kelly Farrell of the Food Network. Yes! How are you, Pumpkin? I am so good to see you. How are you doing? Absolutely amazing. Now, this smells so amazing already, and I love bananas. Now, it's a core back here that's probably going to kill one of us, it's but okay. I'm going to see to it that no one dies today. Okay. All right. Okay, so why? <laughs> Why did you choose banana bread and why, why is it one of your um, biggest recipes in your cookbook? Why did you choose to put it in there? Um, well, the crazy thing is I grew up on banana bread. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of these recipes that was passed down from my great, great grandmother. All right, big mother, that's yes, my dear. big mother, it's big mother. she didn't know it. Yes, yeah, so it's one of those things that I grew up on as a child, baking with my grandmother, mm -hmm. baking with my mom, one of those traditions. Um, and I still love it. I drink uh -huh. it with my coffee, usually or probably almost every other morning. Really? Yes, that's my thing because so I'm not a big breakfast. Eater. So you bake bread every day so you can have it for the next morning or at I, least once a week? I bake bread at least once a week yeah. and that's between for home and for the restaurant. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. Okay, well let's start the demo. Yes! So we have eggs here. All right. Yeah, so we the have dry so, ingredients here. So the thing with banana bread is you want always want to do your wet ingredients and you always want to do your dry ingredients. Mm. And you know that. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of pre-did it a little bit because yeah. you know we're on TV. Of course. Um, <laughs> so we have our eggs, we have some oil. Um, we're going to go ahead and fold in our bananas. Mm. So I bought a banana today because I always wanted people to see what the banana really should look like. The best when way one. when choosing one, right? right? Um, and and the best way to get a really good sweet and moist banana Ooh. bread is to make sure that it's ripened. Yes. Right. Yes. So one of the things that my grandmother always taught me is. If it's hard to get it ripened, because you know it takes a few days. Yeah, you could just sit it out under you light. You can sit it out, or yeah. you can put it in a brown paper bag and mm. stick it in the closet, girl. And that'll do it. <laughs> It'll do the trick. In the closet or the pantry? In the pantry. Okay, then. The I didn't want to have my bananas with my clothes, but not, okay. Not with the clothes, but in the pantry. <laughs> but, but with the tuna. <laughs> oh, exactly, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm stir this stir in. Up. While I we're went doing on this. and did our flour, did sugar. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to add it. I did the cinnamon. We're going to add in. Some ginger. We're gonna add in some clo some cloves. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're okay. gonna go ahead and get that mixed up. All right. Let's see if I can. All right. Beat these eggs beat in here a little, a little bit. bit more. You know how to get it I just it don't done. want it to splatter all over the place. I have of a nice shirt, my Sunday dress on today. Yes, on Friday, your Sunday dress. So I have Absolutely. to make sure. Absolutely. Now you said the key. Would you say finding the proper banana is the key to yeah, a good banana so bread? Yeah. So you always want to have really, really ripe bananas. That's what makes it moist and sweet. And okay. while you're stirring, we're gonna go ahead and fold that in. Okay. You're doing amazing, Claude. Thank you. It's a wrist work, honey. Wrist work. Is this that wrist work? Now, if you have a mixer, there you can go. use your mixer. Ooh, but I we, smell but the we gonna mix it up. So you good. smell oh it? Oh my God! Yes, yes, for All sure. Right. And then the thing I love about banana bread is, you know, you can mix it with anything. So like I did a chocolate a chocolate chip banana bread Ooh, today. Ooh, that's good. Um, raisins and nuts. I did golden raisins. Mm. It's good. Okay, now. You always want to pre so Normally I would have a blender because yes. uh, this is tiring yeah. a little bit. It's, it's <laughs> you just, want me to whip it up for you? Well, you do. Oh, thank you. I got you. Thank you. Honey. I got you. I got I'm you. I got you. I don't want you. I do it with a blender. You. you understand what I'm of saying? Of course, of course. Okay. I didn't want to bring the blender today. That's all right. So what do we have here in our pan, in our skillet here? I see okay. that you have uh, some candied nuts there. Is that walnuts? Yeah, so we have, no, I have some pecans. Pecans, okay. Yeah, a little bit of brown sugar. I have some bananas. Mm -hmm. um, and just a little bit of butter, and that's going to be our topping for today. It smells amazing. Yeah. So I'm get this bread in. Get the bread in the oven. Do oven is always 350. Do you stir this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. You got so you put it in the oven on 350 for how long? 350 for an hour. Um, you know, it just depends. If if the if the bananas are really ripened, then you want to leave it in for a few extra minutes. Mm -hmm. Take that toothpick. Just so it can be golden brown. Just on so top. it can be golden brown. Mm -hmm. Take that toothpick. Make sure. In the middle, you know, Ooh, you yeah. know our toothpick trick. Exactly. Three fifty. You want to make sure it's done, so it's not. Yes. If it's not, if it's wet inside, it's not done. It needs to go back in. Yep. It needs to go in for a few more minutes. All right. Now this smells good. This is good. That's good. All right. Yeah. So awesome. we have some already pre-cut here. We do. And are we just gonna put this on top? Yeah, we're gonna stick it on top. Okay, so you let's ready? Do that. Yeah, because I'm ready to taste. You ready? I'm actually hungry. <laughs> you ready to eat? Yeah, I can't All help right, it. I got you. I got you. I got you. We'll stick a little bit on there. Just put a and little bit then... on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a little powder sugar. And a little bit on there. Yeah, we'll stick a little powder sugar. Yeah, put a little bit of powder sugar. The ladies are coming. Selena, are you joining me? I'm yes. Selena, are you joining me? Yes. All things I can't help. <laughs> but it's, listen, it smells so amazing. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and get a little some powder sugar. I got her some Chase coffee. I got your girl lady some coffee, too. That's two Ooh, days in a row for us. I, I can't be around her. Oh my god. I'm the cutest. 
I'm not. I'm good on the coffee, you. but give me this and a coffee. Oh, that sounds good. Brooks is really good. I can't drink the coffee again. Uh, Do you like it? Where's I got mine? you. I got that you. I got you. I got you. I just gave it to you. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the fork, but no banana bread. The fork, no banana bread. Really I got really you. Good. I, got I don't you. have a fork, but Let I'm gonna you a fork. make it work. All right. I have the Kelly, coffee Kelly, too. I had your um, banana waffles yesterday. So you this did. Is you had banana pudding for waffles for me my yesterday. My goodness, this is, it's nice and buttery. Thank you. And I really love the flavor, and it's not overly sweetened. Yes. I everyone knows I don't like desserts. You don't like sweet. You you know that. I know. Everyone knows that about this. I know. I know. But it's so good. Chef Kelly, thank you so much for joining us Thank today you, and for being here. We really do appreciate it. Listen, pick Hold up her up. cookbook, Cooking with Kelly. That's with yes. two Ks. Anywhere fine books are sold.